the Space Coast is a region in the United States, in the state of Florida, around the Kennedy Space Center and Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. It's one of several themed coasts around Florida. All of NASA launched crewed space flights running from Project Mercury in 1961 to and from the end of the space shuttle program in 2011, and they've all departed from either Kennedy Space Center or Cape Canaveral. The Space Force Station has also launched unmanned military and civilian rockets, as well as manned flights from SpaceX, and soon to be more. One reason rockets are launched in Florida has to do with the Earth's rotation. The Earth rotates most quickly at the equator, and to take advantage of this in adding to the orbital velocity of the rocket, it's most beneficial to launch from a southerly location close to the equator. In addition, to take advantage of the direction of the rotation of the planet, launching from a location on an easterly coast where there's no inhabited population where debris could land in an emergency is ideal for both safety of the people on the ground and for fuel efficiency of the rocket. The only locations in the United States capable of this are on the east coast of Florida, Texas, and Puerto Rico. The 1960s sitcom I Dream of Genie was set in Cocoa Beach. The premise of the sitcom is that an astronaut finds a genie bottle and takes her home with him. The astronaut works at Kennedy Space Center and lives with the genie at 1020 Palm Drive in Cocoa Beach. But don't go looking for the address. There's no Palm Drive in Cocoa Beach. The house used in the TV show was actually in California. The Space Coast is known for great fishing all year round, and one of the best fish to come out of this area is the redfish. Known as a staple in the Cajun and Creole cuisine, redfish offers a mild, sweet flavor with a medium-firm texture. Cocoa Beach has been known for its surfing activities since the 1960s, and the name has stuck. Dick Catchery rode for the legendary surfboard shaper Hobie, and surfed in several U.S. championships, as well as the 1967 Duke Kahanamoku Invitational in Hawaii. He represented the United States at the 1968 World Contest and is a Surfing Hall of Fame inductee. Katri is remembered for being the spark to legitimize Florida as a player in the international surfing world. This included hosting surf competitions at the Cocoa Beach Pier. The history of Melbourne Beach journeys back to the early 1500s, before colonists even settled in Jamestown, Virginia. With Spain's control over the Bahamas, Hispaniola, and Puerto Rico, King Ferdinand sought to explore more of the Caribbean Sea. Juan Ponce de Leon, former governor of Puerto Rico, set sail March 4th, 1513 from Puerto Rico, leading the first European expedition to what he proclaimed La Florida. Juan Ponce de Leon landed within five to eight nautical miles on a barrier island with the proposed name of Ponce de Leon Island. That spot is what we know today as Melbourne Beach. Historians are still debating this, though. St. Augustine's history claims to be the oldest city in America, but it only dates back to September of 1565. Port Canaveral plays host to Morton Salt which annually produces about 200,000 tons of pool, premium water softeners, sea salt, and agricultural salts. The salt is shipped from the Bahamas to Port Canaveral, where it's manufactured at the Morton Salt Facility. From rockets to surfing, salt to searching for the fountain of youth, the space coast of Florida is truly a treasure to behold. These are... Interesting things with JC.